Shanghai, Real World HVAC Simplified. And now, in this video, I'll be showing you how to diagnose a faulty or a bad TXV. So that how to troubleshoot your thermostatic expansion valve. Okay. Um, also, I'm going to be showing you, this is a Stoltz unit. I'm going to be showing you how to power this off, on and off, using the keypad. It's a commercial, commercial type unit in New York City. It is water cooled. And so, I'm going to, we're going to diagnose this um, thermostatic expansion valve or TXV. And I'm going to show you how to power it on and off using uh, this keypad. All right, because as you can see, there's no on off button or key. So I'm gonna show you that, so stay tuned. But before we get into the video, I want you to go ahead and uh, subscribe and smash that bell icon. So when I upload videos like these, you get it right away. So the first thing you wanna wanna note when it comes to your TXV, um, your TXV or your thermostatic expansion valve is not functioning. You wanna note that you're gonna have a very high superheat and a very high subcooling. Um, reason being is that when the valve doesn't function properly, it doesn't um, open, doesn't op it does not open to allow enough refrigerant into the evaporator, and you'll have a higher than normal superheat. As you can see right here, superheat is 52 degrees currently. All right, loud and clear. All right, also, you're gonna have a higher than normal subcooling. As you can see right here, uh, subcooling is a uh, 37 degrees. Reason for that is because you you are not picking up any uh, latent. There's not much latent change going on on the evaporator side, so your total um, heat of rejection is much lower. All right. So with that said, um, condenser is able to reject or handle uh, that small amount of heat absorbed or picked up. Uh, very easily and so you're gonna have a lot of subcooling right also another thing to note you will see a lower back pressure so your back pressure is no see right now the back pressure is at 38 psi that's very low okay um next thing you're gonna have you're gonna have um a uh, you're gonna have a uh, very high or higher than normal supply here temperature or discharge temperature from your evaporator or from your supply vent. It's gonna be higher than normal. So we're coming in at 71 degrees, that's our return. Let's see, that's the return. And, uh, so 65, 66 degrees. That's our supply here, okay? So we so basically 71 and 66, or 71 and 65, that's uh, what? Uh, um, eight degrees, is it eight degrees? Let me see, it's, uh, five degrees delta between return and supply. Very, very poor cooling, all right? So those are the symptoms we look for, and that will tell you you can fall the TXV. Now the physical symptom, is the actual TXV itself. Uh, let's get some light. Amoeba right here. And guys, if you want to know, I'm gonna leave a link to this flashlight in my in, uh, in my video description. I'm also gonna leave a link to this uh, thermometer in the description. Also that thermometer, all right? And pretty much any of the tools that I use from day to day in my videos, I'll leave them in the links if you guys want to go and check them out, all right? Um, these are affiliate links, so once you do that, you'll help out the channel. All right, so we're going to get some light in here. All right, so physically, already you could see there's frost. This is frost, All right? It's ice. So the, this is the TXV right here. There's uh, insulation right there. I'm going to remove the insulation. It's going to be nice enough. Right, it's going to be icing up. This is real time, real world. Right? It's going to be 
ice in the TFC, physically, right? I just want to show you guys what it looks like. If you don't know what TFC looks like, so I'm taking off insulation. Insulation. Okay. All right. So already I can see the frost right here because this wasn't it wasn't exposed down here. That's why there's no ice, but it's cold enough. It's cold enough to make ice. I'll show you. Look at it right here. So it's 35 degrees. That's way too cold. If I go right here in the pipe right here. See that right 25 degrees you know we started to make ice at 30 32 degrees but so this pipe temperature right here 26 is in the 20s 25 all right so that that's it so you want to see on the outlet of the txv on the spiders on the spiders over here they are wrapped up so you can't really see it but um yeah it'll be ice all right so that's the symptom that's the signs of a fall the txv all right uh what else yeah that's pretty much it um here i have my uh, uh discharge pressure transducer on the discharge on the side compressor again this is a commercial type unit new york city it's water cold and i have my uh um uh, high side temperature sensor on my liquid line and i have my low side pressure transducer on my suction line and my low side temperature sensor on my suction line above. All right, so there you go, that's the hookup. All right, you can use your regular gauges if you if you don't have a, if you don't have this, this tool right here. And I'm gonna leave that in the link too. All right, this is rather expensive, but I'll leave it anyways. If you don't have that, you can use a, a, a regular digital gauges. <laughs> A regular analog gauges and um, a thermometer like this this one so what you would do you'd have to put this thermometer on your liquid line somewhere along the liquid line like so and just use um, some of something like this some of these tape foam tape and wrap it around wrap it around the tip so you can read the temperature and um, once you have the temperature and you have the pressures from your regular analog gauges connected to the high side, then you can calculate your sub I'm gonna show you right now. So here, let's just say if you had your your regular thermometer like this one on the liquid line, regular thermometer on the liquid line. So you 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 would be reading a temperature of 57 degrees right and then what you would do now you would um, look at the gauges the needle will correspond to a particular uh, temperature based on the color the color for 470 is brown so there will be a particular number where the needle will be pointing to simultaneously with the temp with the uh, pressures and that number should be somewhere around 94 uh, degrees and then the difference between the two is your subcooling. All right, so the difference between this number, temperature, and this number, that's this number right here. That's just that's your subcooling. Again, the difference between your saturated refrigerant temperature and your liquid line temperature, which is this right here. Can't see what am I doing? Right, the difference between the saturated refrigerant temperature and the uh, liquid line temperature right here equals to this number right here. So again, this is 94 over here, and this is 57 degrees over here, okay? And it's the same for your uh, low side. You take a, your thermometer, and it, usually the low side is easier because there's insulation in the pipe already. Um, okay, yeah, that right here is perfect. So just stick it under the pipe like so. Like that stick it under the insulation, under the foam insulation, and then you get a reading. See that's rather high, that's like 73 degrees. Pretty much what we see on the app right here, right? 72.9, let's say, oh, my light is correct, 72. So yeah, so you take that 72, 
and then you'll go to your regular analog gauges and again the, the pressure will align the needle on the pressure will align it simultaneously with a, uh, a particular temperature based on the refrigerant you're using it's going to be brown and that temperature should be 20 degrees and the difference between the 20 and the 72 right here is the suction line temperature will be a superheat okay so again the difference between the refrigerant uh, temperature and the suction line temperature will be a super heat that's it all right um, yeah so now in this next thing i want to show you guys i want to show you is how you would power down this unit okay so how you do that is simply hold hold the enter key That's it. You see the system is off, the load side is going back up. It's off right now. The compressor is off. The fan is still on. <laughs> so yeah, that's, a, that's why you diagnose a fault in TXV, guys. If you have questions regarding this, leave it in the comment section. Again, this is a commercial commercial unit in New York City. Uh, here it's completely off now. Oh, that's a lot better. Wow. So anyways, you know, my channel is usually like this. Real world, real time real HVAC so you're gonna get the noises in the video it won't be edited out so that's what it is all right go ahead and pour it back on one press one press and enter key that's it this is the enter key and your power button okay all right if you're still here you're special so I'm gonna give you a little bit of extra if you're still here you're special i'm gonna show you i'm gonna give you a little bit extra so i'm gonna go down here and i'm gonna go into uh go into service and the password video give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed subscribe i do upload videos on a weekly basis compressor is back on links to the stuff I'm using here in the video description okay got questions leave it in the comment section here you go
about the TXD diagnosed. So a subscriber asked me about for do this to do this video sometime in the past. Here it is. You're welcome. Again, the symptom is gonna be eye superheat, eye subcooling, eye discharge air temperature, eye supply air temperature, low back pressure. Basically take a screenshot of the screen right here. If you're getting that, it's a TXV problem. Now coupled with TXD itself physically is going to be frosting up or icing up on the outlet, right? The outlet of the TXV, the TXV outlet on the spiders, it's going to be frosting up. See this line right here? The line is very cold. Okay? The line is very cold, and this line is once again. You can see the frost building, the valve body itself, but it takes the outlet. Typically this valve should be like about 50 degrees. 50, no, no lower than 45 degrees. Okay, typically. Yeah, you can see that. Cool. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to close this video off. That's it.